Iran fired dozens of missiles at Israel earlier today, intensifying tensions in the Middle East. 22 News reporter Christina DeMores joins us live in studio with how this could impact us back at home. Tonight, I spoke with a retired AIC professor who is also a retired Pentagon military officer about what's next as the situation continues to escalate. There is nowhere in the Middle East Israel cannot reach. I think right now we have to see what Israel is going to do. In the past, they have exercised caution, letting uh, Iran know that it has the capability of pretty much hitting any place in Iran. Tensions in the Middle East are reaching new heights as hostilities between Israel and Iranian-backed Hezbollah in Lebanon unfold. On Tuesday, nearly 200 Iranian ballistic missiles rained over Tel Aviv and Jerusalem marking Iran's second attack on Israel in just five months. This is totally unacceptable, and the entire world should condemn it. The U.S. is now sending more troops to the Middle East, while concerns grow over an all-out regional conflict. Make no mistake, the United States is fully, fully, fully supportive of Israel. And what we're concerned with in moving those troops in is not only to hopefully prevent an escalation, but more importantly, to uh, protect the U.S. troops that are already deployed in the area. And the fallout from Tuesday's attack could soon be felt on U.S. soil, from the ever-growing national debt to the state of the economy and oil prices. If in response to the attack, Iran decides to cut back on oil production, that will certainly influence the price of, of gasoline. As for the presidential election, which is just over a month away, the fort says U.S. involvement in international conflicts have left Americans uneasy, but it's unclear how it will impact voters come November. Both presidential candidates have commented on the missile attack. Vice President Harris has condemned it and reiterated her support for Israel. And Mr. Trump says this wouldn't have happened if he was president. Working for you tonight, Christina DeMores, 22 News.